Hello and welcome to my final daily ukulele workout, number 80. As I said at the beginning, I was going to carry on doing these until the lockdown was lifted in the UK. And to a certain extent that has happened. I've been happily forming a bubble and uh, deciding to go on to new projects. And one I explained yesterday was to do my series of uh, pieces in every key. And for details of that, just email me, as you'll find the details, on the YouTube or Facebook video. So today I was wondering what can I finish with, and I decided to go back to my initial love of the ukulele when I started playing it about 14 years ago. And it was the chance to be able to play melody, harmony, and rhythm all together I think which captivated me and I remember being at ukulele Wednesdays and coming home on the train and with sounds like um, sort of locomotion and uh, alleluia and just sitting on the train as I was coming home one of the abuses of the ukulele is that you could do that and playing through these pieces and working out how you could do the melody so while I was doing that, we had a boat which we used to go on holidays from, from the bottom of the garden, where I live on the River Trent, and we had a boat called the Sea Master, and it was Sea Master 26, or 24, 24, and I was, I remember lying in the cabin one day, ukulele on my chest, playing, and just coming up with this strum, which I call the Sea Master strum, and is now part of the VCM ukulele exam pieces so with permission from them I'm going to play it to you and show you some of the ideas of how to move from just playing the chords into playing a melody along with them and nice rhythmic ideas as well um, I've used up and down strokes shown by the way a violin bow would go up and down in fact this is up and down all the time it's eight to the bar and but it does swing you notice the first chord you've actually just got two notes how do you do that well you accurately just hit those but I'm putting some fingers on other strings to mute them so that's the first bar now when I play that and think I think immediately of one of the first tunes I ever arranged which was the locomotion which uses this nice trick of using the G string for the A to G session. There are some other great tunes which just uh, use these notes, like the one three note tune that um, everybody loves doing, uh, to do run run run. So if it was good enough for those writers, then I thought, well, I can start with just the three notes of that. I did go to a few more, but not many, actually. So, back to the first bar again. Notice how it said, play that opening two bars three times. Then I do this. lovely G sound. Now you can double stop for the 0, 2, 3, 3, which is a G sus 4, then now to another G, then the G7. Now in the full version you'd repeat all of that, but it's not quite the full version here. Then you go into the second section starting at bar 5. So what I'm doing here is just down the two different forms of an F chord down there. Little finger on, little finger off. Now the next time we get to C, I wanted to slide as a grace note from one to the three, and at the same time stop the A string sounding by treading on it with that finger.
then as a variation which I've done for this workout I go all the way up to here one of my favourite G's first major chord you get to where you can go down the strings and play them in the correct arpeggio order so you do that G then a G7 then a G6 well it's still got a bit of the 7th in it and on all of those you're doing the just doing the bottom two strings then all of the strings and then you go back to the beginning and do the first bit until you get to bar four uh, the G7 then end with a, a C chord okay so I hope you've enjoyed coming on this musical journey through my workouts and do contact me for any of my other arrangements or just to talk about ukulele is my favourite subject. Thank you for watching.